During three different buyback days over the past year, the Sheriff's Office received more than 2,000 guns. The department, with contributions from the Dolores Bar Weaver Fund, paid the owners $50 for each gun. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum is live at JSO, where Sheriff Rutherford and Dolores Bar Weaver held a news conference to announce a new initiative about the upcoming guy, uh, gun buyback program. Well, thank you, Bruce. And as you said, so everyone who goes to these buybacks and brings a gun, they receive $50. Now, what's new is that the Dolores Bar Weaver Fund is now matching that donation. And so basically, if you bring in a gun, of course, you'll receive the $50, but they're also going to give $50 to the Police Athletic League. That's the new information that they announced today. Now, if you aren't sure, the Police Athletic League, they help children in the community. They have summer camps, scholarships, and an event that we always cover. It happens around the holidays. It's the annual Shop with a Cop event. Dolores Bar Weaver says that she wanted to get started with this gun buyback program in the first place to help children. Anytime we hear about these shootings, whether it's in a school or whether it's in a shopping center or a movie theater, I think we all empathize, sympathize, and our gut hurts. The sheriff's office says the buyback program's been successful so far as a way to get guns off the streets safely. They get anywhere from about 500 to 800 guns at each buyback. Most are handguns, but then they also do have some long guns that they also take. They also accept any unwanted ammunition you may want to get rid of. And the sheriff says that $70,000 are also coming from the drug bust. That, that will also help the uh, gun buyback program. Now, the next event that's coming up is June 28th at North Jacksonville Baptist Church off of North Main Street. That is from 10 to 2. Now, another program you may have heard of, it's a separate gun program. It's called the Gun Bounty Program, and that is where you can get a $1,000 reward for information to get an illegal gun off the streets. Live from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, out of curiosity, do they ever have stolen guns turned in? They do, Bruce. You know, because it is a no-questions-asked scenario, they've received 33 guns that were, in fact, stolen. Ashley, thank you very much. More at 5 and on newsforjax.com.